Hello friends, welcome to my channel CV Concept. Friends, today in this video, I am going to discuss with you one important question that what next if concrete cube testing reports are failed? So this question, this type of situation arise many times in life of civil engineer, site engineer, project engineer. What to do if concrete cube testing reports are failed, right? Your concrete cube testing reports are failed, then what to do? I'm going to answer this question in this uh, video. Friends, if you like my videos, please, please subscribe my channel and visit my website to get this kind of video in a descriptive manner, in a articles, right? You can read the uh, uh, articles on this type of videos on my website. That is the cvconcept.com. You can search on Google. So friends, uh, compressive strength of concrete cube. What? Why we test the uh, compressive strength of a concrete cube? what type of details that concrete cube testing uh, gives to us so friends uh, the concrete cube test provides the details about all the characteristic strength of concrete from the result of this cube test we can judge that whether concreting has been done properly or not friends from this cube testing report we know about the characteristic of concrete its strength right it's uh, what type of uh, quality is uh, gaining and from result we can uh, judge that our concrete uh, quality is good or uh, bad or as per our requirement or not and the strength of concrete for general construction varies according to the grade for concrete right strength of concrete general uh, uh, change from the uh, m15 grade to m35 grade and higher in commercial and industrial structure friends we know that we use here this uh, uh, type of grade of concrete commonly m15 to m35 and higher in a many commercial and industrial construction so uh, friends the compressive strength of cube gives us the de uh, detail about properties of concrete characteristic concrete and whether it is good or bad so friends <coughs> what to do if concrete result fail in cube testing report so what to do next that the first reaction is prevention is better than the cure right your first reaction must be that we have to prevent this happening right because we know that the construction industry in a construction industry concrete plays an important part we have to prevent this kind of mistake on construction sites the failure of cube test depends upon the various aspect even the way it has been tested also important right it depends on the uh, various aspect concrete cube phase is depends on various factors like it is uh, how it's tested right uh, testing is done is properly or not it is uh, questionable then are uh, the sampling for cube also it is important right the sampling uh, sampling or cube uh, is also important that is it is pro it is properly taken or not taken it is one uh, question marks right then the failure result of concrete cube is a serious issue friends don't ignore this this must be a serious issue right this must be a serious uh, issue if concrete cube testing report fails because 90 percent of work of civil engineer is on the concrete work in the county any construction site so this is a serious issue don't ignore this this is serious issue don't ignore is, uh, this then we need to analyze why the cube are failed and then we have to analyze why these cubes are failed so friends finding out the reason for failure right first of all we will find out the reason of failure why these concrete cubes are failed so uh, when we are doing the concreting on site collecting the sample for test there are four possible complications right Where, so there are four possible combinations that uh, they are resulting the failure of uh, concrete that it may be concrete is strong cube is also strong then it may be that concrete is weak and cube is, is also weak then also it may be a concrete is strong but cube is weak and then last that concrete it may be concrete is weak but cube is strong so uh, any of these four condition can be happen on the construction time while we are uh, taking the sample of cube so friends while we are uh, while you get the uh, get report showing that 28 deep, uh, 28 days cube test are failed remember that this is something serious hence this is something serious if you are getting the report of 28 days cube test reports are failed so take it seriously and this result of 28 days cannot be treated just like it is of 7 days we can uh, we can consider 7 days report we can uh, take it lightly because we have to wait for 28 days but uh, it cannot be taken lightly as a 7 days uh, result if 28 days result is 
taste fail okay so uh, as we know that the uh, that the must uh, concrete must sustain is 99% strength on 28 day of cube testing result and taste are con considered as a deciding criteria for acceptance of concrete right we consider the 28 day stress as a deciding criteria because on the 28th uh, day it attains its 99% strength so we have to uh, accept concrete or reject concrete if its strength on 28 day 28 days of casting is uh, uh, as per recommended or as per requirement or not so before considering the 28 days cube test is fail or pass uh, we are going to uh, we are going to deep into the all scenario of cube failure let us quickly see how the cube results are generally interpreted as per is code right before we consider that our 28 day, days cube test is fail or concrete is also fail its quality is not good but we have to uh, compare this result with as per is code indian standard codes so compression strength of uh, concrete at various age you must know that if you are working on the side or you are checking the cube testing report that uh, the concrete strength is a uh, uh, as per concrete strength varies at uh, at uh, changing age right so on the age of 3 days of casting of concrete uh, the concrete cube uh, cube gains is 30% strength right and on the 7 days it uh, attains about, about 67 to 5% and consider 70% for safety then 14 days it almost cover, uh, gains its 90% strength on 28 days it uh, attains around 99% strength but we consider it 100% for safety person right so it is 99 it is okay but we consider 100% it must be 100% if for a safety person so this is the uh, uh, strength gaining of a concrete cube on various age of a concrete then we have the compressive strength of cube at 7 and 28 days for various grades of concrete right so in the in this table you can see that grade of concrete minimum compressive strength uh, in newton per mm square at 3 days minimum compressive strength uh, in newton per mm square at 7 days and specified characteristic strength this is a specified characteristic characteristic strength of compressive strength newton per mm square 28 days right so if you are doing the m15 grade your minimum compressive strength on 3 days must be 4.5 on 7 days must be 10 newton per mm square on uh, 28 days it must be 15 newton per mm square 100 percent strength must be gained on the 28 days right if you are doing the 25 3 days strength should be 7.5 newton per mm square then on the seventh day it should be 17.5 newton per mm square and on the uh, 28 days it must attain the 25 newton per mm square that is a grade of concrete it should be attained 25 newton per mm square uh, strength on the day uh, on the day 28 dates of its casting right so these are the various uh, parameters you can get these tables on my site that is www.cvconcept.com the link given in description you can get this table from that my website so what to do friends now question is that this all are good still our concrete cube is failed so what to do right what is next so if the 7 day concrete cube, read, uh, cube test is result fails, wait for 28 days cube result is same or not, right? If 7 days fail, then don't worry, you have to wait for 28 days cube testing report. It is same or not, you just have to compare it. If 28 days result fail, then again there is a possibility that cube are not filled properly or they are they were not cured properly in first 7 days. It is possible that, that your slab is okay. Right, friends, if your 28 days uh, cube testing report fail, then there is one possibility that uh, cube are not filled properly or sample are not properly taken, not vibrated properly, or it may not be properly uh, cured for 7 days because we know that cement needs the uh, curing for, for, for 7 days uh, must, right? So, it, it if it is happened, right, if it is happened, then your slab must be okay, right? Your slab is okay, but sampling is not good. So then what to do, right? Then again, what to do if slab is okay, right? Again, there is a question mark, what to do next? If uh, your slab is okay, you sure about that, but because of the failure result of your uh, concrete cube, you have to go for the rebound hammer test. You have to go or rebound hammer test. If your con uh, concrete 
still uh, you know that your your slab is good right crumbling is not good but you have to do rebound hammer test for a safety reason for safety reason we have to go for rebound hammer test okay so this is the uh, sketch uh, this is the image of rebound hammer test how you have to uh, uh, test the your uh, concrete by rebound hammer this is the rebound hammer right you have to just press this rebound hammer and get the strength on this uh, scale you can see that this is the scale then again after you want to what to do right again next what to do if after you want to test if the hammer test is also fail cube result then go for the core cutter test it uh, and test and it to get actual strength of lead concrete right if rebound hammer test also fails then you have to again go for the core cutter test right core cutter test means what you have to uh, take the core from the your caster slab right 0.30 meter 30 cm height and 15 cm die you have to take the core from this slab right and you have to test right if rebound hammer is fail then uh, you have to go for the core cutter right you can see that this is the machine and you have to take the core from uh, this uh, caster slab for a testing like like cube testing right cylinder testing right cylinder type sample is given then what to do after core testing right again question marks that what to do again uh, after core testing to take this code take uh, cut a result to the consultant and he will take decision whether the he uh, he can retain the concrete with a rectifying like grouting and other uh, safety reasons or if not then whether he can find out the strength on this slab if not then ha he has to get this slab recast right if core you have to take this core result to the consultant he will consult uh, you about what to do what can we uh, how can we improve this strength or if it is not happen then we have to recast this lab right if core testing report also fail so we have to recast we have to disassemble all this lab and recast if the core testing report also fail so we have to also uh, we have to recast this all slab okay so this is important then because before we have we must consider the following before any decision taken by site engineer on discarding the concrete right before you discard before you dismantle the concrete right you have to uh, consider the following point whether cube is filled by trainer supervisor whether the strength is unacceptable as per acceptable formula right it if so whether they satisfy the designer with the corrective method as suggested and ndt test result are received from the labs right and they still doubt go for the loading stage in many cases i have experienced that the horrible result by few labs that the site engineer should have his own judgment about place of concrete where fail and taking the risk right i just i have experienced that many lab reports are uh, false right they are not testing properly the concrete cubes right so we have to just uh, we as a site engineer we have to take on judgment over judgment contractor has uh, shall always happy if reduce the rate right contractor always happy to reduce the rate and he trying to reduce the cement in the concrete and that's the result in the failure of concrete but always note that the failure needs your pre action report as suggested above that only site person can decide discard concrete right so you are the site engineer you have to decide what to do we have to discard concrete or not so uh, what to do if we do not want to dismantle the concrete member right what to do if we don't do not want to dismantle our structure right so what are steps what can why we do we do if you don't want to discard your structure if its strength is not good so what is what are the precautionary measures we can take so providing the steel stiffness you can provide the steel stiffness right these are the steel stiffness so providing the steel stiffness on the side of member to increase the its load carrying capacity and the steel stiffness are maybe bolted or epoxy bonded to concrete member right these are the steel stiffness right these are this you can impart this type of steel stiffness to increase the uh, strength of this column right so uh, it increase the load carrying capacity of uh, any column right these are the providing the steel stiffness you can provide the steel stiffness to your members then you can use the providing the fiber reinforcement polymer sheet bonding right you can see that this is a fiber reinforcement sheet bonding the reinforced uh, polymer sheet basically with the glass fiber or carbon fiber lesser thickness wrapped around the surface of concrete and member are bonded with 
epoxy adhesive so concrete structure of beaver is improved right we can use the carbon fiber here you can see the carbon fiber sheet is round wound around the concrete member to uh, improve is the structural behavior right you can do that after if the concrete testing reports are failed then you can do the spraying concrete or short cutting you can use this method okay so spraying concrete short cutting can be done by drilling the reinforcement around the periphery of member and short cutting is done on the surface of member to increase its cross section to modify the structure of problem right so in short cutting we have to just uh, impart these uh, uh, we have to expose these uh, uh, steel reinforcement of column and then we have to do this short cutting uh, on the uh, surface right to in improve the structural probability right this is the uh, uh, short cutting of a bridge column you can see that bridge column uh, is uh, structural uh, uh, behavior performance improved by the short cutting method you can see that in this figure so you can also do the concrete jacketing you can see that here is a concrete jacketing concrete jacketing involves the covering the structural member at any or all side with a skillful place reinforcement concrete in this method the reinforcement is welded to the existing reinforcement uh, impart the proper bonding of jacketing to the existing member and concrete jacketing increase the cross sectional area of member and thereby improving the structural performance right the, you can see that this is the jacketing right jacketing is done uh, to the concrete column and beam and to improve the structural uh, properties right you can see that uh, and this uh, jacketing is improve this cross sectional area and thus that improves the structural performance you can adopt this methods okay friends if you like my video please subscribe my channel cv concept and visit my website you if you want this uh, ppt all right if you want to download this ppt congo and visit my site uh, cvconcept.com from where you can download uh, this ppt and what to do what to do next and if you like my video please please subscribe my channel cv concepts thank you for watching my video please subscribe my channel cv concept